Welcome to the part 4 Smart Contract and Digital Trust of the Introduction to Blockchain series. In this part, we will cover the smart contract, the blockchain and digital trust topic, ending with the blockchain impact on our life. What makes blockchain more powerful is the use of smart contracts. So what is the smart contract? It's a normal contract but running on a blockchain, where the rules and agreement between two parties are coded and immutable, therefore can't be altered nor modified. Moreover, the parties involved in a contract are anonymous. When the predefined conditions are met, the agreement is automatically enforced by the code. Thus, no need for an arbitrator nor a third party to control or influence the execution. In conclusion, it's a secure, unstoppable computer program representing an agreement that it's automatically executable and enforceable. We should keep in mind that the code of a smart contract must be fault tolerant, executable in reasonable amount of time, and support decentralized execution. Any coding error may lead to drastic results. Here we can highlight the major differences between contract and smart contract, where in the smart version, the third party is not in need. Execution can be achieved in minutes with automatic remittance with high transparency, which is not available in traditional contracts. Also, security is guaranteed by cryptography and digital signature. All these features make the smart contract cheap in term of cost with respect to normal contracts. Last but not least, a question may raise. Is blockchain trustful? Achieving digital trust is a paramount challenge essential for adoption of any technology. The basic components of digital trust in blockchain are security, privacy, and confidentiality. Starting with the security, blockchain can resist traditional cyber attacks, but cyber criminals are coming with new approaches specifically for hacking blockchain. Recent researchers classify blockchain attack vectors into five categories depending on their nature. The blockchain network attacks, user wallet attacks, smart contract attacks, transaction verification mechanism attacks, and the mining pool attacks. In this part, we will discuss two types of attacks. The first one is the civil attack, which is one of the blockchain network attacks, where the attacker assign several identifiers to the same node, then control it. In such case, the victim will be surrounded by fake nodes, also called civil identity nodes, that close up all his transactions and becoming open to double spending attacks. In large scale civil attacks, where the attackers become able to manage the majority of the network computing power or hashing rate, they can create the 51% attack. Civil attacks are quite difficult to detect and prevent. The second type of attacks is the most common one in blockchain, the 51% attack, which falls in the transaction verification mechanism attacks category. The 51% attack occurs when the miner's hashing power exceeds the 50% of the total hashing power of the blockchain. In such cases, the hackers may change the ordering of transactions, reverse transactions, they may even impede transactions from being confirmed by hindering normal mining operations. Simply, they can control the blockchain, launching double spending attacks. Public and permissionless blockchain privacy is limited to pseudonymity since network nodes are identified by their public keys, but transaction details are not confidential and available to anyone. To overcome this issue, several technologies and protocols are listed below as potential solutions for adding confidentiality and privacy, like sorting sensitive information off-chain or one-time addressees and stealth of addressees, mixing and conjoining. The table represents a map of blockchain properties to potential impact 
on commercial, societal, and administration activities that form our daily routine, like payment and remittance, banking and financial services, land rights, identity management, educational credentials, health records, supply chain management, everything, and even much more. Simply, blockchain will revolutionize the way we interact with each other by eliminating intermediaries and creating the trust we need. Here is the end of part four. Thank you for your attention.